This is a series of terminal knee extension movements, beginning from easiest to most demanding. All intention on every single movement is engaging the quad as much as possible so you can go into knee extension, locking out the knee. Um, for the most part, on all other movements, um, you are also engaging the anterior portion of your calf. So you're gonna be pulling the big toes up towards your chest, um, just like we always practice on single leg stand hold, as you see here. Uh, but the more you can engage the knee, that's the intention here. Locking out the knee, getting full knee extension to the best of your cap uh, capacity. Uh, here we're just adding marching in place, very similar to the single leg stand hold. Uh, the band is forcing you into that knee extension. Now we're going to progress into a little bit more demanding movements here. So key point of emphasis here is as you go into knee extension, you're also going to pull the toes up. Um, a big error you see in a lot of PT models is they forget to incorporate the lower leg. They just focus on the quad, but as you know, everything is connected with one another. So we got to make sure we're adding that little extra end point of the movement. These last two movements are the most demanding um, as we're really working on quad strength. Uh, again, the band here is just to force knee extension every single time. So make sure you're locking out at the top, squeezing for at least half a second. Um, always work on that knee extension. Here's the last move, a little bit of a, of a reverse skater. Um, control the best of your ability, go as low as you possibly can um, in a controlled fashion. All of these movements are fairly slow because they're early in rehab stages, so the slower you go, the more the brain can process.